Has this ever happened to you? You join a Zoom meeting, and then as soon as you get settled, you, you start, start to hear an echo. echo. You mute, the echo stops. But then when you unmute, the, the echo, echo comes back. back. Well, that's what we'll be talking about in this video. How to reduce or eliminate echo from your Zoom meetings. There are a couple of reasons that you might get echo when you join a Zoom meeting. I'll talk about both of them here, and for each of them, I'll give you four things that you can do to reduce or eliminate echo altogether. The first reason that you might have echo when you join a Zoom meeting is that your microphone and your speaker are too close to each other. When that happens, any sound from the Zoom meeting plays through the speaker, and it might get picked up again by that microphone, which will feed it back into the meeting. It'll come out of the speakers again, and so on, and so on, leading to infinite echo. The quickest way to stop that is to press mute. And here are a few things that you can do to try and eliminate that altogether. The first thing you can do is move the microphone and the speaker away from each other. Now, if you're using a laptop with a built-in microphone, connect an external microphone like a Bluetooth headset, a wired mic, and move a little bit farther away from those speakers. Alternatively, you can connect external speakers and move them farther away from the laptop microphone. The second thing you can do is turn down the volume. If you lower the volume enough, it won't feed back into the microphone, which can reduce or eliminate the echo altogether. The third thing you can do is go into your Zoom audio settings under advanced and enable more aggressive echo cancellation. And of course, the fourth thing that you can do, which is probably the easiest thing to do, is get some headphones. That way, your audio doesn't play back out of the speakers and it doesn't feed back into the microphone. The second reason that you might have echo in your Zoom meetings is if you have two or more Zoom participants in the same room at the same time. This can happen when the speaker from laptop one feeds into the microphone of laptop two, and then the speaker from laptop two feeds back into the microphone of laptop one, and so on and so on. There are a few things you can do to combat echo in this situation. The first is get a room. <laughs> Put each of your Zoom participants in separate rooms and that'll solve the problem. Another alternative, which is pretty easy, is to take the second participant and mute both the speaker and the microphone. This will ensure that anything that the Zoom meeting plays out does not get picked up by the second laptop and fed back into the first one. The third thing that you can do is ensure that both or all of your Zoom participants that are in the same room all have headphones so that none of their speakers play back and get picked up by other microphones in the room. In addition to that, you'll wanna ensure that all of the participants in the same room are muted at the same time unless one of them needs to speak. That one person will unmute temporarily, say whatever they need to say, and then and mute themselves once more. A fourth alternative is to have the other Zoom participants in the room leave audio. They can click the little arrow next to the microphone and choose to leave audio. In this case, you'll just have one participant in the room connected to audio at any given time. That way that person can speak for all of the other participants. They can all still be on camera, but to eliminate the echo, just have them refrain from joining audio at all. Those are the two main reasons that I see for people having echo in their Zoom meetings. Did I miss anything? Drop a comment and let let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.